Hey, welcome to our devotion. My name is Caleb and I'm part of the youth team here in Manchester. We're continuing with, with our series through Therefore Go. In Matthew 28, we read about the Great Commission where Jesus tells his followers to go into the, all the world and make disciples. This week, our devotions, we are on the journey of what it is to live in the spirit. Looking at the scripture in Galatians 5.25, we've looked at walking in step with the spirit, a spirit-led heart and reflecting the spirit's fruit. Today, it's letting go of self-resilience. In Galatians 5.25, we're called to live by the spirit and follow his leadings in every part of our life. This verse challenges our natural tendency to rely on ourselves, but instead it's pushing us to lean on God's wisdom instead. Often we're tempted to solve problems in our own strength, trusting our knowledge and our resources. Yet this verse is a gentle reminder that God's spirit knows far more than we do. True growth begins when we surrender our self-resilience and invite the spirit's guidance, especially in moments where we feel capable. The spirit invites us into a partnership where we trust his guidance over our understanding, whether it's making a career move, navigating a relationship, or even just making everyday decisions. Living by the spirit requires humility and a willingness to release control. Today, think about an area where you're tempted to rely on your own strength. Instead, bring it to God in prayer, asking for the spirit's insight and wisdom. Pray for a heart willing to listen and trust, even when the spirit, well, even when the spirit's leadings feels unfamiliar, or it feels uncomfortable. As you surrender self-resilience, you'll find that God's wisdom is far better than anything you could produce on your own. His spirit offers comfort, clarity and courage, guiding you down paths that lead to peace and fulfillment. Trust in his leading and let go of self-resilience to experience the abundant life that God has for you. Have a great day, church. We love you so much.